with all the other people. Um, so this has, this has bird chirping. Very I'm trying to figure out what they are. Well, I mean, I get that, but like they have a little hook to hang them on the wall on the back. I guess I want to see how much they are because I don't know what they are, but they're cool. I need a basket or something.
What's in that? Oh, mine, mine are. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got those already? <laughs> yeah. Well, you say no for the bows? What bows? No compound bows. Is this metal? Hello everybody, thanks for hanging out after the ride along to see the things that I picked up from this church garage sale. I did end up getting the swing for $20. It's a really long aluminum swing that I'm planning on giving my sister. She has been wanting a porch swing for a really long time. And this one is super cool. It's really long and it's made by this company that makes aluminum like picnic tables and things like that and their picnic tables run about 800 bucks but I couldn't find any of their swings so I mean even though I'm giving it to my sister I always like to know what it would have gone for what it sold for once upon a time um, just cause, because it's cool and fun but totally it would have been an easy flip if I was going to sell it on Craigslist or something like that um, I probably would have listed it for a couple hundred bucks um, and I bought it for 20 <laughs> it did say on there make best make offer or something like that so um, I asked the lady well what do you want for that and she's like I don't know make me an offer and I said ten dollars and she said no <laughs> I said twenty dollars and she said okay so I got the swing for my sister which was super cool really light she's gonna um, rust-oleum it and hang it out at, at her property and um, I also, my kids got a Lego set, which they ended up keeping, which it was, I think it had Marvel superheroes and stuff like that. Um, but I always look for things like that. And when they come with me, that's what their go-to stuff is. They ask for the Lego and the Nerf. I did also, I got some jewelry, but I have it mixed in with my other um, stops from the day. So I can't remember which ones I got from that um, church garage sale but I'll do better next time to remember and I'll show you those when I pull up the when I share the ride along for the rest of those as well now I got a few things that are maybe winners maybe question marks 
Um, as most of you guys know, a lot of the stuff that I sell is our smalls because of clutter. <laughs> Look around me, it's cluttered already. Um, so I try to stick with smaller things, um, unless it's something that's going to be an insane profit, like all the Star Wars stuff that I've been picking through and trying to figure out all of that. But anyway, that's another story. Um, but I did get some things that I wasn't sure about. So usually when I find stuff that's kind of cool and cheap and I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, and it's worth, you know, it's a good price, then I will get that. And I think at the whole church garage, so I think I spent about 40 or 45 bucks for everything. It was, it was a steal for sure. And I was surprised because you, in the ride along, you see that like some of the stuff they had looked up and it was like $10 for a little China dog and crazy, crazy prices. And, and when I was looking, watching the ride along back, I was like, Ooh, that would have been cool. Oh, I missed that. I always miss things. Okay. So I picked up these and you're going to get a little glare from my window, but they're these little teeny tiny plates and they're, they've got like, I, I want to say it's shell in there, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, but it's iridescent. And the weird thing is, so it's not like a tea set, right? Cause they didn't come with cups or anything and they're not, they're not, um, you know, formatted for, it's totally concave in there. So it's not like you could put a, a tea, you know, a teacup on it or something. Um, but it is like a little plate and then it's got this hanging doodad on the back. So you would hang them up on the wall, but there's a bunch of them. If you have seen anything like this, then I would love it if you would tell me because I don't know. One of them did break. The lady as she was putting them in the box um, dropped one. So that one's cracked, which maybe I might be able to pick it apart and see what that is in there because I'm so curious. Um, but yeah, it actually messed up the whole, like if you look at it, like even the whatever that stuff is on the inside got disturbed because look they look like this all of them look like this but then this one is like all I don't know they're like butterfly wings or something are they are they butterfly wings look at them you can see the veining in them do you think that's what that is I'm so curious you know what I mean because yeah when you look at this one you can see more like it looks like layered butterfly wings that have been placed to um you know because they're iridescent and cool looking i bet that's what that is because now that i'm looking at it you can see where the base of the wing would attach to the body and then these are like the veins that come through i'm gonna look that up now that i think that's what that is <laughs> and see and now i really want to take this one apart and find out i'd have to get some gloves and and all that but sorry that was loud okay so I'm going to find out a little more about those in just a second and I'll pull it back up to share with you. But let me show you what else I got. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those or sell those for. Another thing I picked up and I saw when I was doing the video that there were a few more that I didn't even notice. Um, garage selling and thrifting with kids can be a little bit distracting. Um, so I did pick this up and the reason is that I had recently seen a video where they were just showing like millennials how to use tools, like how to use a can opener. And I know that there are people that are survivalists um, and campers and people in general like that like to have hand tools. Like we don't have a mechanical, I mean, an electric can opener in our house. We use the old fashioned kind, right? Um, so I picked it up because I'd seen that. And then as I was looking it up, I'll show you the, the eBay sold and stuff like that in a minute. I mean, I think I spent 50 cents on it. So even if I, you know, there were some that are up for anywhere from, from five to $15, but even if it sold for $8, that's a $5 profit, which is not bad for something small, easy to ship. Um, but then I'm also seeing like people, I'll show you, making YouTube videos on using tools like this. And there was one that was like, has 60,000 views, you know, so that's another option when you see stuff like this. If you're on YouTube or thinking like, oh, I can do a video and like show how to use this contraption and people are going to come and watch it. If you're monetized, you'll make money off that too. So, <laughs> okay. The next thing I got, I bought this. Um, kinetic creatures motor kit. I didn't realize at the time that it wasn't one of the actual animal creatures because if you see on the side there's little 
animals, but this is the motor that goes to the animals, but it actually worked out okay. Um, one, I liked it because it was, again, small. It was contained in the package, it is still new and sealed, and um, and yeah, and, and it's something that's like, well, if it's not worth something, then, you know, my kids can always use it um, because they're into mechanical-y stuff, but it is worth something, so I'll show you in a second. And then I also ended up picking up this uh, scale, it's a kitchen scale, but that's what I weigh my small, my smaller packages on. Most of the stuff I send ends up being first class mail. And so it's, it was just handy to have another one. I think I spent a buck on it or something really cheap. Um, so it's a nice kitchen scale that, that I can use for weighing my packages. I just have to check it against my other one to make sure that it's accurate. My other one is a little bit heavy, so or it weighs a little heavier. All right, let's take a peek at the sold on some of these things, and I'm gonna look up these butterfly wing things, maybe, is what they are. We'll find out. So, it ended up being very fortuitous that that one broke so I could figure out what these things are because they are butterfly wings, you guys. Now, I just pulled it up so I haven't had a chance to dig through and see what like one of them would sell for. Oh, let's spell your iridescent correctly, okay. So I don't know how big these ones are or if they're teeny tiny like the ones I've got. Butterfly wing, wall hanging. So yeah, that's what those are. They are butterfly wings. Isn't that something? Oh my gosh, I hope they just didn't go kill all these butterflies. Hopefully they collected them after they passed away. And Oh my gosh. Um, so let's see. Let's go back to that and click it and see how big this thing is. How big is this? Um, wall plate, wall art. It looks similar to mine. Um, I bet this is bigger though. Let's see. It is four and it's almost five centimeters in diameter. So it's a little bit bigger than mine because mine are, I don't know, like two or three inches. Um, Let's see if we see any other ones, because this one is $59 for one of these little plates. You know, it's not sold, but that's fine. Because if you were looking over here, like, these are all, like, cha-ching, 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 pretty, for a pretty penny. So now, here's the question. Whenever I figure out what I want to sell them for, oh, there's a timer going off in there. Do I lot them up, or do I sell them individually? This one went for $29.95. This plate measures six and a half inches, so it's quite a bit bigger than what mine is. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, I, at first I was like, maybe I'll lot them up, but I think I'm gonna sell them individually. I mean, they, they kinda have a bit of wear to them on the sides. They're a bit rustic, if you know what I mean. Um, but, I think I may just sell them, I'll just put a sticker on the back or something to tell the difference, you know, number them, and then sell them for maybe 15 bucks a piece. Because I'm seeing the bigger size, like the ones that were 6 inches, were around 30 bucks. Uh, tell me what you think though, because I know it'll be a few days before I can get these photographed. And I've got five of them, and one that's broken. All right, so let's start with this Kinetic Creatures Motor Kit. I found it on the website and it is sold out. So um, that's good for me because when I looked on eBay, there are none. There is a sold out Ellie the Elephant. Um, they're, sh they're showing, I guess, because the main site, they're sold out there too. Are they still sold out over here? No. Okay. But um, the motor kits are sold out. And so the motor kits aren't being sold on this website. And they're not being sold on eBay. And I didn't check um, Amazon. But if they're not being sold on Amazon too, basically right now I could just ask my price. So I probably would put around $50 on it because on the website they're $25. Bucks and it, let's say somebody buys one of these animals for their kid and they want to have the motor to go with it then they're gonna pay what they need to pay right if they're really wanting it so that is probably what I'm gonna do with that I might not go as high as 50 I don't know that I might <laughs> how much is Ellie so how much do they market up that's what I'm looking at now too 
how much did they mark up the elephant? So the elephant was 40 bucks. They marked it up like 10 bucks. So maybe I'll do that. I'll mark it up 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. So maybe I'll list it for around 40 um, because, yeah, maybe 40. That'd be good. Okay, so there's that. And then the next thing I was telling you about, you know, with the can, the can opener, uh, they're not selling for a ton, ton. Like here's one that's selling for eight. And then there were some others over here, anywhere from like 15, eight, you know, that kind of price range. And then there's on Etsy, there's a few others, just different styles. And um, that's not even a can opener. So around 10 bucks, but still like if you spend 50 cents or a quarter, then that's still a $5 profit. I will take it. And as I was telling you to take a look, like if you look at um, YouTube, look, here's a, how to use a Vaughn Safety Roll can opener. This video has got 60,000 views. So finding these little doodads and just making, you know, videos on how to use them, people, people like to watch that or they don't know how to do it, then they're going to see how to work it. I mean, yeah, my child did a, a not an unboxing, but like a review video on a scooter uh, and it's got quite a, a number of views. So people enjoy checking out those types of videos as well. So if you're thinking about starting a channel or if you have one, then that's something to like show how to use the things, all the things, right? Um, anyway, okay, so those were the things that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed this ride along at this church garage sale. And if you're following me on Facebook or on Instagram, once we get my sister's swing installed we're gonna be out there next week then i'll post a picture of how it looks out on her property it's gonna be so awesome i can't wait and i will talk to you on the next one everybody thanks for watching bye